Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on surface area of pyramids. What you'll learn in this lesson includes the definitions of slant height and lateral surface area. Slant height is the height of each lateral face in a square pyramid. Now the lateral surface area is the sum of the areas of the lateral faces of a three-dimensional figure. Now for our vocabulary startup, ancient Egyptians built pyramids, such as the one shown in the photo below. A right square pyramid has a square base and four isosceles triangles that make up the lateral faces. The lateral surface area is the sum of the areas of all its lateral faces. The height of each lateral face is called slant height. Fill in the blanks in the diagram below with the terms slant height and lateral face. Well, the slant height is this height coming down from the top to the bottom of the base. So that's going to be our slant height, and our lateral face indicates one of these sides here, and that's just one of the lateral faces, so lateral face. Next, we'd like to draw a net of a square pyramid, so let's zoom in a bit here. Now notice we have a square base and a net is a two-dimensional drawing, sometimes on graph paper, of a three-dimensional figure. And so we have the square base, so we'll start by drawing a square. And that's our base. And now we have one, two, three, four triangles coming from that base. And so we're going to draw here one triangle here, a second triangle here. And what I'm doing is I'm counting up three units from the top or from the bottom in order to make sure that these are equal size. And then just connecting down to the base as uniformly as I possibly can. And so that's the net. You can almost picture the sides, the lateral faces, falling off of the point up here and just kind of coming down and stretching out. And that's what that would look like. Now, we do have our slant heights that we can represent here too for each of these triangles. And there you go. That is a net of the square pyramid. Our key concept is surface area of a pyramid. Now there are two types. So we have lateral area. The lateral surface area, LA, of a regular pyramid is half the perimeter of the base times the slant height, L. So we have one half times the perimeter times L. Now, what lateral area means are the area of these lateral faces not counting the base. Because when we go to find total surface area, we're saying it's the lateral area plus the area of the base. So it includes then the area of the base. And so if we break down a few important parts of this formula, the P is the perimeter of the base 
the L is the slant height, and when we come back down here, B is the area of the base. So a regular pyramid is a pyramid with a base that is a regular polygon. And we have our model of a square pyramid, and we have our net of a square pyramid. So to find the lateral area, LA, of a regular pyramid, refer to the net. The lateral area is the sum of the areas of the four triangles. So we have 4 times 1 half S times L, where S is the side length and L is the slant height. When you think about it, this is a triangle. 1 half base times height is where you get this 1 half SL. Now, By using the commutative property of multiplication, we can rearrange this a little bit, where we have the half on the outside then times 4s L. Well, this 4 times s, if you think about the square pyramid here, the s is the length of a side, times 4 gets you the perimeter, which is why we can replace 4s with p. And that's how we find the lateral area or lateral surface area of a pyramid. We take one half times the perimeter times the slant height. Next we have the total surface area. To find the total surface area of a regular pyramid it's the lateral area which we found up here plus the area of the base where B again is the area of the base. So now as we get into our guided examples, let's pay attention to our variables and how we're actually solving for these. Find the total surface area of the pyramid and round to the nearest tenth. So our surface area formula, no matter what shape the base is, is going to be the area of the base plus one-half the perimeter times the slant height. That will be our surface area formula for any pyramid. So when we look at our base, the shape of this base is a square, and to find the area, you can take, as it says here, real small, 4 times 4 to get the 16. That is the area of our square base. Then for the lateral area, the 1 half perimeter of the base times the slant height, the perimeter of the base, you could just do in your head 4 plus 4, and then 4 plus 4 is 16. Or you could say, all right, it's a square, so if I take 4 times the 4, I'll get 16 that way as well. My slant height might be the easiest number to find here. It's 9. And when you multiply these numbers together and add, we end up with 88 square inches. So far, we've only dealt with square pyramids, but we can also find surface area of triangular pyramids using the same formula. Area of the base plus one-half the perimeter times the slant height. Now something is missing in the base of the pyramid here, and it's somewhat unfortunate. If we look at this, we have a 16 by 16 by 16 triangle. And please remember that when you find the area of a triangle, your base and your height need to meet at a right angle. Now this involves some skills that we haven't learned yet. We don't know what that height is. But if we split this exactly in half, we'd have 8 and 16. And there's a special uh, property called the Pythagorean Theorem that we'll learn in 8th grade. That is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And a and b always have to be around the right angle, so this would be a and b and the C is always opposite the right angle. And so we would have A squared plus 8 squared equals 16 squared. Of course, 8 squared is 64. 16 squared is 256. If you were to subtract 64 from both sides, the result would be 192. And there's this thing where you take the square root of both sides, and I know, unfortunately, um, we haven't done any of this yet, but you get A equals 
13.86, and that's our height. And so if you wanted to find the area then of our base, you would do one half base times height, which is one half times 16 times our height now that we just found at 13.86 and that result is 111 and so when you see this 111 here and are wondering where'd they get that from well that's how they got it because unfortunately they did not draw in our height here that should have been given to us as 13 8 or 13.9 would have gotten the trick done too. So just be careful of that as we go through. Now to finish this example, 111 is our area of the base. 48 is the perimeter because 16 plus 16 plus 16 is the 48. 20 is our slant height. Multiply these together and simplify and you do end up with 591. So again, I don't expect us in the seventh grade here uh, right now to be able to solve it. If it didn't give you the height, uh, we'll just have to be aware of that as we go through the problems of this lesson. Now, guided example three. It does end up giving us this slant, or the height with the base. It does give us this at 8.7, which is so useful that we don't have to use a property we haven't learned yet. So surface area equals area of the base plus one half times the perimeter times the slant height if you were to take 1 half times 10 times 8 and 7 tenths, you would end up with 43 and a half. Area, or the perimeter is 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is 30. Slant height, 12. Multiply, simplify, and end up with 223 and 5 tenths. Now we get to try a few of these on our own. And so we'll see if we've got it. In example A. Find the surface area of a square pyramid that has a slant height of 8 centimeters and a base length of 5 centimeters. All right, so let's do example A here. We will start by writing our formula, surface area equals area of my base B plus 1 half the perimeter times the slant height, and I'm going to use a cursive L for that slant height as well. Now we don't have a nice picture of this yet, so we'll draw this down here just to see what this looks like. We have a square pyramid, and I'll draw it on a little bit of a slant. And if I just draw a dot up here, and then connect these to my corners here, I have a base length of 5 and then I end up with a slant height that is 8. So now, as we look to find the area of the base, that's going to be just 5 times 5 for the area of the base, since it's a square, plus 1 half for our perimeter, you could add up 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, or you could say I have 4 sides times 5 for each side. And then my slant height is 8. And so as I work to simplify this now, 5 times 5 is 25, plus the 1 half times 20 times 8. And so we have to multiply all those on the right first before we add now. 25 plus 1 half times 160. So 25 plus half of 160 is 80. And when I add these together, we end up with 105. So my final answer is 105. And the units here, centimeters, and since we're dealing with surface area, squared. And that's example A. Now what about got it example B? We get to start with the same formula for surface area. Surface area equals the area of my base B plus 
one half the perimeter times the slant height. And so how do we find the area of this base? This base is a triangle. And so we find the area of that base by taking one half times the base times the height. Then we're still going to add that to one half the perimeter times the slant height. And so as we substitute numbers in here to our formula, one half times my base for the triangle is 12. And the height for my triangle is down here at 10 and 4 tenths. Then I'm going to add that to 1 half. My perimeter, we'll just add these sides up now. 12 plus 12 plus 12 is 36. And then my slant height for the pyramid is right here, and it's 15 times 15. So as I work to simplify this, 1 half times 12 times 10 and 4 tenths is 62.4, or 62 and 4 tenths, plus half of 36 times 15 is 270. And we add these together, and we end up with 332 and 4 tenths. And we'll put our units on this now as meters squared. And so whether it's a square pyramid or a triangular pyramid, we start off with the same formula, area of the base, plus one-half the perimeter of the base times the slant height. Next, we have guided example for our word problem. Sal is wrapping gift boxes that are square pyramids for party favors. They have a slant height of three inches and base edges two and five tenths inches long. How many square inches of cardstock are used to make one gift box? Same formula that we've been using. Surface area equals the area of the base plus one half the perimeter times the slant height. The area of our base can be found by taking two and five tenths times two and five tenths for the square pyramid. Get six and twenty-five hundredths plus one half the perimeter if you were to add two and two and a half plus two and a half plus two and a half plus two and a half or just four times two and a half as it says here is ten and our slant height is three. Simplify, solve, and we get twenty-one and twenty-five hundredths. And so now we get Armando purchased a bottle of perfume that is in the shape of a square pyramid. The slant height of the bottle is four and five tenths inches and the base is two inches. Find the surface area. And I want to draw one more picture here. So if we have our square base with the top, and we can draw that top coming down here. And for our slant height now, coming back down at a right angle, the slant height is four and five tenths inches, so we can label that that way. And our base are two inches each. And so we'll start off over here on the left side with the same formula we've been using, surface area equals the area of the base B plus one half times the perimeter of the base times the slant height. So surface area is going to equal the area of my base, well it's a square, so I can take two times two or two squared, plus one half times the perimeter, it's a square, so it has four equal sides, so four times two, and then multiplied by our slant height of four and five tenths. As I simplify, surface area is going to equal 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 4 times 2 is 8, half of that is 4, and 4 times 4 and a half is 18. And so my final answer here, surface area is going to equal 22 inches squared. And that is it for this lesson on surface area of pyramids. Good luck. <laughs>